ChatGPT just released a brand new image generator, and it's about to make you question what's real and what's AI. Not only are the images shockingly realistic, but for the first time, AI can actually make visuals with clean and readable text. You can now also edit or transform any image you upload to ChatGPT, or even let it design assets for you with no background. Today I'll show you how the new Foro image generator works and exactly how to use it to level up your workflow. Let's get right into it. Well, firstly, we are now able to generate images with perfect text without it looking like an absolute slurry mess. If you check out the images on OpenAI's website, it's hard to believe they're even AI. Look at how perfect this cursive is, but let's go ahead and actually test it out ourselves. You can use this feature in Sora or directly in ChatGPT's chatbot, which is what I do. I'm on the plus plan and they've already rolled it out, so I think you should have access to this. Just go ahead and press on the three dots right here and click on the create image icon. It says right here that it's just been updated. Create an image of Albert Einstein's LinkedIn profile. Let's go ahead and send that in. It actually takes some time generating the images because they're so detailed. So let's just leave it here and come back when it's ready. And here's literally the first generation we got. Look at how detailed it is. It hasn't messed up a single line of text. Well, I think Albert would have a few more than 500 plus connections, but overall it's looking amazing. Now let's see how it handles more custom text. I'm going to ask it to generate a newspaper lying on the table that reads, and here's just a quick article I wrote about the new Foro image generator. And here's literally the first generation we got. Now it looks amazing, but if we look closer, the title and the first paragraph look great, but in the next uh, paragraphs, it starts slurring the text a little bit. So let's try and regenerate it and see if it does any better. I've had to shorten the text a little bit to improve clarity, and now it's looking loads better, so maybe don't try it with excessive amounts of text just yet, but overall it's doing amazingly well. Lastly, let's try mixing realism with this new feature, so I'm just going to ask it to generate an image of a personal trainer judge that is showing me a verdict, I am found guilty of eating chocolate at 12am, and I'm sentenced to 100 push-ups and no carbs this week, so let's see how it does. This is very good, it hadn't messed up the text and the judge and everything in the room looks super realistic, but the only thing, he doesn't really look like a personal trainer, so let's just go ahead and try and fix that. Now that's looking much better and I love how consistent it is, it's practically the same person from the previous image, just with a few more muscles. Before this, when you would ask Dal E to change something, it would just completely regenerate everything, which is very unproductive. Imagine just how many things you could do with this new tool. You could design social media posts, banners, ads, or even create visuals for your presentations. It's not perfect just yet, but it's definitely loads and loads better than it used to be. Now, another incredible update is that ChatGPT can now turn images you upload into something else. Like, check out those images of a cat OpenAI uploaded, and then asked AI to add a detective hat and a monocle. Then they went on to create kind of like a game character from it. And finally, they designed this card with character characteristics. Now that is amazing, but it actually looks too good to be true. So let's actually test it out and see how it works. Now for our first task, I'm actually going to upload an image of a room and I'm going to ask ChatGPT to design it, to add furniture, to decorate it, to make it look modern and cozy. Let's actually see how it does because this could be really useful. Now that is looking very good and incredibly realistic. My only critique would be the reflection. It kind of seems to be reflecting the same painting and a plant that doesn't even exist in this room. But overall, this is a very, very easy fix and the room is well decorated. Next, let's ask it to engrave my logo into a stone wall or monument and let's see how it does. This is very good and actually super realistic. It actually copied the logo very, very accurately. Now, let's see how it actually does with people. I'm going to upload my image and ask it to use the photo I uploaded to generate an image of me driving a Ferrari. Now, it's not bad, but it doesn't really look like me, but it's close. Now, the next example could actually be really useful to you guys. I'm going to upload my photo and then a photo of a red blouse I found online. And I'm going to ask ChatGPT to create kind of like a virtual try own photo. I mean, the woman looks nothing like me, but the body type is pretty similar and I could kind of visualize it. Now, the last thing I'd like to show you is that ChatGPT can now generate design assets without background ready to drop straight into your design. 
Let's say I want to generate a fake YouTube plaque celebrating 1 million subscribers for my YouTube channel. So I'm just going to ask it to generate that first. And here's what we've got. It's looking very good and actually super realistic. So go ahead and subscribe so one day we can make it a reality. But for now, I'm just going to ask ChatGPT to remove the image background. And here's a black with background removed. I can now just download it and use it in any of my designs. Now, let's say you need shapes like these for your design, but you don't want to pay for Shutterstock just to get a couple of shapes. You can now just go ahead and copy this image, paste it right into ChatGPT, and I'm just going to ask it to generate shapes like these, but without any background. And just like that, it generated the same shapes without background ready to use on my design. There have been so many new updates in the world of AI this week that I'm struggling to make videos about all of them. So make sure to drop a comment down below to let me know what video you'd like me to make next. And if you enjoyed this video, I'm sure you love this one where I break down seven free AI tools that will make you more productive than ever. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.